Why do calligraphers write? Why do they start writing calligraphy? And what makes them keep writing? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milanist and in today's video I decided to do something a bit different. Uh, I was sitting at home and was wondering why am I writing? I guess many of you who are not writing calligraphy but are watching our channel are either in love with letters or maybe they are just wondering if calligraphy is for them. That's why I decided to ask more than 30 calligraphers that I know what was the reason they started writing calligraphy and what makes them keep writing calligraphy. I asked them to answer either with a few words or with a few sentences, depends on how they feel about it. So without further ado, let's jump into what they had to say about it. While we're editing the video, I realized that I've asked way too many people and uh, reading all the stories would take a lot of time. So I decided to read like 20 people's answers, but there will be a link in the description where you can see the answers of all the artists that I've asked this question. Before we start, if you haven't watched my latest video Calligraphy Lettering Tattoo Artists, you can check it by clicking the link in the corner. And with that said, let's jump into the video, guys. All, all the people I've asked the same question and it was I'd like to ask you a question and you can answer it in few words or few sentences. Totally up to you. Why did you start writing calligraphy? Why are you writing calligraphy and what's the reason to keep doing it? The first answer is by David Grimes. He says, I just really like it. It's something that brings me a lot of satisfaction and I enjoy using my mind in the way that calligraphy encourages me. I think it's a pretty short and clean answer. Thanks, David. Next is uh, Juan Graffi from South Korea. He said, I started calligraphy because when I first saw the calligraphy, I felt in love just like fell in love with my dream girl. <laughs> That's a pretty cool explanation. There are so many reasons that I keep doing calligraphy, but I can say with one sentence, it is simple. I love calligraphy more than anything in my life. Pretty, pretty cool fun. I love calligraphy more than anything in my life as well. So thanks for answering, brother. Next is uh, Michaela Forziati, Mika Fort, from the name, I guess, from Italy. And she says, Hmm, well, I started calligraphy after I found out about lettering and then I discovered Crayola markers before any brush pens and started doing calligraphy with them. I still write calligraphy because it really helps me to improve my lettering and because I love it. I love it too. Sarah Script from USA and Sarah says, I started writing calligraphy because of a friend who introduced me to this form of art. Calligraphy for me now is a medium for my voice. The reason to keep doing calligraphy is to keep exercising creativity as well as strengthening your own voice. Hmm, that's, that's, uh, that's uh, very well said. I like it. Next one is Jelvin. He says, I started writing calligraphy to learn more about letters since I was studying typography, but it eventually became a therapeutic hobby that stuck with me. The reason for keep keeping on is still the same. I want to constantly Constantly improve on my eye with letters, but at the same time learning and meeting different people as well. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Some of my closest friends and my dearest people in this world I met because of calligraphy. So that's pretty damn on point. Next is Sunny, 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 Sunny from, from I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> And uh, so he says, I started writing calligraphy because I was attracted by its aesthetics. The calmness and mindfulness from writing calligraphy helps to relieve stress from life, so I keep doing it. Yes, calligraphy is uh, very stress relieving, something that it's like a meditation to many of us. Next one is uh, Kirby and she answers, I remember when I first started, it was around Christmas time and I wanted to make personalized card slash notes for my family and friends. It slowly but gradually became a full-blown addiction. Calligraphy has become a part of me. It excites me and I wake up most mornings wanting to pick up my pen to practice. It also brings me a sense of calm and quietness. There is so much beauty in calligraphy and so much to learn. I hope I'll be learning and practicing for many more years ahead. 
I hope that as well for you and I hope for me and all the people who are involved with calligraphy. Next on the list is my dear team member Susan Cunningham. Susan says, I started calligraphy as a little girl. My mom had a speedboat textbook of alphabets and I would copy the letters for hours. I don't ever remember not loving beautiful letters of all descriptions. So I really don't even remember starting calligraphy. It's just always been a part of my life. I've been doing it professionally since 1993. I still do it today for many reasons. I love working with brides and helping out with their most special day. And I absolutely love teaching others about what I know and seeing it clicks with them. I have made so many friends through calligraphy, actually made my best friends through it. It's also very therapeutic. I can be mad or stressed out about something and sit down and write for 30 minutes and it seems to wash away the anxiety. I really feel like it's so ingrained in me and I can't imagine my life without it. Uh, that's a pretty cool story season. Like, uh, I don't know that many people that been doing this through all their life. I guess you're uh, lucky and uh, I can't imagine my life without it as well. Next is uh, Bad Calligraphy from Italy and he says I started calligraphy six years ago. Basically I started practicing to improve my handwriting. Then I moved to calligraphy when I discovered that it was relaxing. It was not the best time of my life and it helped me a lot maintaining my bones together. Nowadays, it still relaxes me, but my goals have changed. I had the chance to meet beautiful, inspiring people and some good friends thanks to it. I'm still practicing and the main reason is still to improve my calligraphy skills. And maybe when I'll be good enough one day, I'll be also able to work full time with it. Thanks for sharing your story, buddy. I, I think you're already good enough. I wish you that you start working full time with it as soon as possible. Tolga Girgen, my good friend and uh, team member from Calligraphy Masters, he's from Turkey and he says uh, I really do not know why, when, when I was playing with pens suddenly I found myself in calligraphy. It seems as if there is a fascinating attraction to the world of letters. It definitely allows me to get away from my stressful life. Also I think I express myself in the best way with calligraphy. All on point and uh, thank you for sharing it with us. Next is Jesse from uh, USA or Canada. <laughs> I forgot, I'm really sorry. Her story is a bit longer, the first longer story. So let's see what she said. I can easily answer all the questions by saying that it's all because I love it. It's my passion. But to answer your question more specifically, I remember browsing through Instagram and watching a lot of lettering videos before I started thinking how amazing it looked and how therapeutic it must be. Within a few months, I decided to start my own journey and learn this type of art. I have always had an interest in letter forms and writing, so this was an easy decision for me to make. Before you know it, I was hooked, and I was voluntarily practicing for hours every day trying to get, to get better. The more I practiced, the more results I saw. I not only felt the sense of accomplishment, but I also drive to go further. Initially I started calligraphy for myself because I was very interested in this type of art. The better I got at it, the more inquiries I received from how I learned calli calligraphy to request for commissions and events. I realized that I could use this type of art for others' enjoyment, learning and even income, so I started making videos, taking on orders for weddings and doing calligraphy events with local brands. What gets me to keep doing it, it is the sense that I could get even better and achieve even more. There are still a lot of other letter forms that I would like to dive into and learn properly. I'm excited to take on the challenge of learning something new and the ultimate acquiring a new skill and sharing, sharing it with others others. Pretty cool story. Jesse, thank you for taking the time to share your story with us. Next is my brother and teammate uh, Fraquan, Frankie. And he says, I always loved letters, graffiti, calligraphy and typography. Started to write when I stopped doing music. I had to feel that I had to feel an empty creativity space in my life. I keep doing it because I immediately felt in love with the art of beautiful writing and because it makes me travel and meet a lot of amazing people, new friends worldwide. And calligraphy works like a therapy and a peace of mind. Frankie, thank you for sharing, bro. Next is my teammate, uh, Muhammad Bazdak from Turkey. One, I started calligraphy as a child. The pencil was my first toy. Dude, <laughs> I wish my first toy was the pencil, but that's pretty cool. 
two because calligraphy is one of my two wings my other wing is music nice three artist sky for me i need these two wings on my long journey for this Calligraphy and music will always be with me. That's pretty cool, Mohammed. Thank you for sharing. Next is Charlotte Charwa Art Script from uh, Australia. And she says, I started because I've always been into art. Before I discovered calligraphy, drawing and painting was a hobby of mine. When I saw a calligraphy video for the first time, I was mesmerized and fascinated by the graceful movement and pure ink that held between the opening and closing times. I knew instantly that it was something I wanted to try when I get the chance. Why keep do going? It's something that keeps coming back to me even after I get busy and take breaks from it. I think it's my passion and fascination for creating art that keeps me going. It also helped to keep me grounded in this fast-paced life with many commitments. Next is my team made, made by Edgar. Edgar, USA. New Jersey and he says I started calligraphy because I was inspired by other calligraphers and wanted to try something new at the time I wanted to do so many things and decided to focus on calligraphy calligraphy taught me a lot of patience watching other videos of talented calligraphers I thought it was going to be easy but it was not <laughs> it's never easy over time I began to show patience something that I had trouble showing I wanted everything now and fast, but calligraphy is created but by going slow and steady. It's like the old saying, slow and steady wins the race. And that's true. I continue to write calligraphy because it, it grounded me. Everything in nowadays is fast, but calligraphy is the opposite. It's almost like calligraphy balanced me out. Whenever I need to relax, I just pick up a pen and write. Also people love watching it, so it's like a win-win situation. I get to relax while entertaining others. <laughs> That's pretty awesome story and point of view, brother. Thanks for sharing it. And uh, okay, I'll read one more. I won't read the one from Paul Antonio. I'll leave it for the website because it's a story that more people know, I guess. So the last one is uh, Logos Calligraphy. So her answers are, I started calligraphy to write words of hope during a seemingly hopeless dark season in my life. I continue to write because it sparks joy. I continue to write because it causes me to slow down, to contemplate. I continue to write because words impact life. I aspire to make a difference through calligraphy. That's super awesome. Young Hai, thank you for sharing it with us. That was it guys, that was over 30 calligraphers telling you why they started writing calligraphy and what makes them keep writing. With that said, if you're a calligrapher as well, let me know why did you start calligraphy and what's the reason that uh, you keep doing it. Like, uh, I'll be very interested to hear. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this one, please hit the thumbs up button. I know this was supposed to be a uh, top 10 calligraphy artist, but the thing is, I, I don't have still a 10, 10 artists in my list, I'm still researching, so if you have any names that you can recommend me, feel free to do it in the comments. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep writing.